taxes are how we all do our part. But that's part of the problem. Not everyone does seem to be paying their dues. Makers versus takers. The thing that carries me through the mid-April tax madness is honestly a, a democratic spirit. The belief that we're all in it together. They give tax cuts and loopholes to the rich and they act like it's acceptable. Paying into the collective pot is part of our duty as citizens. I get excited to pay tax because this is me contributing it's the to my good, country. Yes. And, and so without being able to do a robust agenda from Washington that does smart spending and smart tax increases the way we did in 1993, fewer people spending. So it really fewer people no paying sense. taxes to your exactly. state to do all the things that your state needs revenue well, that, for. That's... I don't get to opt out of paying taxes once we've made a kind of collective decision. Well, I know the president won based on campaigning for raising taxes on the rich. How do you go from bread bags to defending you, you, the top you 1%? Go, you go there, you go there because they're all afraid to vote for even a modest tax increase on people who can totally afford it. If we want the rich to pay more money, getting them to give out of charity instead of federal obligation might be our only option. It doesn't make it any easier to know that my wealthy neighbor isn't taking responsibility. If they don't pay, why should I, right? As Americans, we don't mind paying our fair share of taxes as long as everybody else does. The real question, Joy Reid, is which agenda will more Americans go with?